Hi everybody, my name is Master Ali Kapoor and I'm here to share with you a concept that's very important to, to us and I believe to you as a club owner and we call it art, attract, retain and thrive. Everything that we build at 2020 Armor has to satisfy a bunch of criteria. One, it's got to teach fundamentals of martial arts. That's very important to us. Two, it's got to make your business money. You know, that's, if, you, if you don't thrive, then our students don't thrive. Three, it's gotta be super, super easy to use. And then four, it's gotta grow the overall Taekwondo market, because that's something that's uh, very important to, to us as well. And then five, lastly, it has to be relevant to today's uh, students. It has, to, it has to talk their language so that they're interested in, in taking up the sport uh, that we love so much. So with that said, I am going to uh, give a little introduction as to who I am. Uh, I'm the co-founder and CEO of 2020 Armor. My name is Master Ali Gafour. I was a four-time former Canadian National Taekwondo team member I, uh, on the Olympic side. Between myself and my two other co-founders, we have over six schools and 2,000 students. And uh, the 2020 Armor product is in over 25 countries. The Adidas family members are investors, and we have some of the largest schools in, in the world actually as customers. So um, the agenda again is this whole concept of attract, retain and thrive. I'm gonna dig deeper into each of those and how that can grow your business and also teach uh, again the fundamentals of martial arts. So before all that, uh, a quick primer on what 2020 Armor is. Some of you know, but in case you don't, this is a very quick um, uh, kind of background in, into uh, what the product actually does. So. This is everything that you need. Uh, there's nothing else that uh, you require, no socks, no transmitters, no, no software. It's all here, four buttons. Uh, your six-year-old yellow belt can operate it. Uh, you turn it on, you choose your health setting. Uh, the, the on button also is your, your game mode selector, by the way. Health setting, time, and start. Uh, our flagship game is called Energy Score, and that's game number one. I'll show you how simple um, that game is to to operate, I, I put this one on game one here as well. I'm gonna go ahead and push play. This means it's looking for a partner to sync up with. I'm gonna push play on this one as well. So these two are now looking to be paired up. To pair up, all we do is double tap to sync. Okay, and now we're synced up. And the way it works is, uh, if you've ever played video games like uh, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, Tekken, it's just like that. You have 100% health. As you get hit, your health goes down. Once you lose all your health, you lose. And the center ring is a timer. So I hit it a little bit, it goes down a little bit. I hit it harder, it goes down more. And once you lose all the energy, I lost and this player won. So that's how it works. There's uh, 10 different game modes. Each game mode teaching something fundamental about martial arts. Uh, you can put them on a, on a Wave Master or a Bob in addition to, to wearing them. And so now we'll get into this, this uh, how we can use this to actually attract more students into your club. So did you know that there's actually, if you go to your, your state fair or trade show and you have your booth and you have your spin the wheel and break the board kind of stuff that you, you know we all usually do, did you know that 3% of people that are there already have some sort of idea or interest in martial arts, but 97% have none? And so that's a huge market to, to tap into. And what we say is take one of these vests, put on a Wave Master, and uh, put it on this game called Hit Meter, for example, right? And then we say, challenge people to say, hey, come play a video game. What you did right there is something very significant. One is you're talking the language uh, to a, a language that they're very comfortable with, right? And, um, and you just said, hey, come play something. Right, because martial arts just we're 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 in a space like we know what it's all about. But for someone who knows nothing about it, it's a very scary world, right? And so when you say come play a video game, um, they you you lower that barrier to to entry. And then so what we like to say is um, come hit the, the the vest, and they can do whatever they want. They can slap it, they can punch it, um, they can use their elbow. And you say you know hit it a little bit. So this game is is uh, it's called hit me to show you how hard you hit. The harder you hit, the more lights go off. And they do something, and you give them a little bit of instruction. You know, put your hip into it, snap, uh, put your shoulder into it. They do that, lights go up more. Instantly they see the result of your instruction, how they can help them, and they can see that they're, they're improving right away. 
right? So now we've, we're able to uh, address a, a larger market that we wouldn't have been able to address without this sort of technology. Uh, so the same concept that you would use in, in those uh, outreach programs, you do for your in-house events too. So your birthday parties, uh, have video game theme nights, Halloween parties, same concept. Again, so because these friends are, uh, your students are bringing these friends that have no exposure to martial arts before, and this is a good way to, to get them introduced into it. And again, use terminology like, hey, do you like video games? Come light up the best. Um, and if you get to this, uh, to this certain area, so in a, in a hit meter mode game, if you get to the, you know, the yellow section, you can win a free pro prize. <clears throat> now, another way that you can uh, attract more students in, into your club uh, is bring them in, do the demos during classes that you're using 20 to a number. Again, think of the mindset of somebody um, walking into the gym for the first time. People are yelling, <laughs> you know, they're not used to people, you know, yelling all the time. Uh, you know, people are, are hitting or getting hit. It's, it's a very foreign environment. But if you show that, uh, hey, there's some, and you use the words, hey, come watch these guys play some video games. And they're like, wait a minute, you play video games here? Right? It's, uh, it's a, uh, it again, lowers that barrier and, and risk to, to somebody who, who uh, might be you know, quite shocked for, for their first time walking into a martial arts studio. Uh, and then lastly, social media advertising. You know, use uh, visual visuals like this, like get them off the couch and onto the mats, right? Um, show people playing video games. And so this talks both to the parents and to the students because the parents are like, yes, I get this. And the student's like, hey, wait, what's that all about, right? And so uh, now you're able to do this with, uh, with this, this sort of technology. So that's all about attracting, and we use the, the term, term lineups and the signups. concept of retain and we use the tagline enjoy the fight you know a lot of the times when people take martial arts for the first time if they um, kick or they spar they're very scared um, you know it's a very foreign concept to hit and to get hit and we we know as martial artists that that is the best time to thrive and to grow is when you're put into uncomfortable situations and quite frankly that's why you know parents chose to put their kids into martial arts is so that they can learn to defend themselves and also learn these core values of self-discipline, focus, and all that. So we want to make sure that they enjoy that process, enjoy that fight. And so in, in this picture, actually, notice where their eyes are, are looking at, right? They're looking straight at the lights. Why is that? One, because we're actually, humans are very much like moths. We, we're, we're attracted to lights. But, but second, um, the goal is very clear here. Without any sort of scoring system, and you know, quite frankly, we can't watch every single student in our class. We're one instructor, maybe two, 30, 40 kids. There's no way we're watching everybody. And the parent knows that too, by the way, <laughs> right? Um, but with, with this system, they, they know immediately what the score is. Whereas before, they had to literally guess. So we ask them to hit, we ask them to get hit, but we don't tell them what the score is, right? Uh, but with this, they know exactly what the objective is, and they're looking straight at that objective. And now the, the focus goes away from hitting, getting hit, and to, and to accomplish an objective. And so now they enjoy that process a lot more. And you can see it again in these kids' eyes. Um, and so, you know, we see a big drop-off when sparring is introduced. Um, industry standards are about 55% of students drop out when sparring is introduced. Because again, we ask a lot out of them, hit, get hit, but don't tell them the score. And we don't have time as instructors to go around seeing everybody. And so, you know, it's, it, it costs us a lot uh, to lose students. Uh, it's a lot more expensive to get a new student than it is to keep an existing one. And so, you know, some of the stuff that we see for the main common reasons for students leaving is they're not seeing improvement, uh, they're bored, and bored because of repetitive drills, and, and they're scared of sparring. So, so how do we address that? So, um, not seeing improvement. So, uh, there's this game called uh, Hit Meter, and it's one of the 10. And this one is, is very straightforward. It shows you how hard you hit, right? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and set it up and, and start this game. The way I like to use it in, in, in my classes is I put this on a, on a weight master, I line the kids up, 10, 20, and they start, I say right leg grab, basket over, okay? They hit it, Bobby hits it, he gets to here. He knows exactly how hard his right leg grab, basket kick is now. And so does everybody else, right? And they're all self-correcting themselves. So the next person goes, they hit, okay, I got the red. Now that, that last boy that went, he's like, okay, this person got red, 
How did they get read? Why did they get read? I want to get to that level, right? So not only are they self-correcting themselves, they're comparing themselves against each other. And this is telling the student exactly what's going on. So you have time to go around and um, maybe talk to correct certain uh, kids' forms who maybe need a little bit more help. Uh, and those that, uh, um, that you don't have time to get around to are, are being helped by the vets and, and being told what their technique is, uh, how is it looking in terms of power in this case. And we have games for reaction, um, stamina, and all that. So, so they see that improvement right away, right? So that was uh, one of the reasons why, why students move. Uh, boredom with repetitive drills. So, you know, it's, it's hard to sometimes to come up with, with content that uh, the students are really interested in. And uh, especially if you're not giving that direct feedback right away. So if you have, we have a, on our website, uh, 2020armor.com slash drills, a uh, huge list of drills that cover stuff from speed, power, timing, locking, reaction, uh, all these different types of games. There's one called Oddball, which is actually similar to video games like Hot, um, Halo or old school games like Hot Potato. Um, and the whole while they're learning uh, core elements of martial arts, but they're, they're, you're changing it up and you're allowing them to play and learn these concepts in, in, in a format that they're very comfortable with and what they're used to, uh, which is this instant feedback and, and again, knowing what's going on. And then lastly, scared of sparring, right? I, I, I uh, talked about that example earlier on where they don't know the score when they spar, uh, but they sure heck know what the score is when they're playing soccer, basketball, and hockey, right? And so this allows them to really understand what's going on, provide that instant feedback, and change that focus from hitting and getting hit to bringing down the lights. So that's how we help you uh, retain more students. Oh, uh, one last quick one was, um, this kind of came up just the other day, targets. Oh my gosh, right? When you have kids holding targets for each other, that's like the worst thing ever when you have uh, a really bad target holder, and it's quite a lot of them, especially when they're young. And so parents are annoyed because if, you, if your kid is the one being partnered with a bad target holder, you know, that, that, that class sucks for them, quite frankly, right? And they can get hurt and all that kind of stuff. So uh, what we like to do is um, get rid of the target holding altogether. Um, we still teach that as something that they should learn and that is, that is something very important. Uh, but interject uh, or replace that, uh, you know, maybe half of the time with, with the vest. So you put the vest on, on the Bob uh, or Wave Master and the students hit that and then they, again, see that instant reaction and feedback. The, the students getting uh, a high quality training experience, the parent is seeing that as well, so they're happy with that, so they're gonna keep you know, the kids in there longer, and, um, and no one's getting hurt from holding the targets incorrectly. last part of uh, ART or art and this is the concept of thriving your, um, growing your business making it thrive with new revenue streams that were not possible before and so I like to talk about some of those concepts right now in-house events some some of you guys do them some of you don't um, if you don't the the 2020 hour technology provides a great infrastructure for you to uh, keep track of the score of everybody uh, zero dime downtime. We've had so many customers use it, and they've actually ended early. Which, if you've ever run a, a martial arts tournament, is like that's like uh, you never heard that before of a tournament ending early. And so it really provides an infrastructure and and that quality of experience for the people participating and also the, the parents watching, knowing that you know they they their, their child fought in a fair, fairly judged match. So if you don't have in-house events, it uh, it provides an infrastructure for you. If you do have it it cuts down the cost by 80%. Um, so you don't need uh, three, four, some people have five people in the ring to manage a match. You just need the one center referee to make sure that the students are safe and the vets do the rest of the work for you. Um, and again, it has that better experience. Actual tournaments, so not in-house in -house events, but tournaments with multiple schools. Uh, again, this allows you to, to have the infrastructure to, to do that. And in those tournaments, you can have these things called arcades or, or game stations, where you set them up on, uh, on Wave Masters of Bob, let's say you have five of them. You have one of your, your students, instructors, as, as the one who manages that area. And you charge $10, $20 for full day access. It's like literally them playing arcade games. So you give them a little wristband, uh, and then they can, instead of running around, you know, falling off the bleachers and the stairs, uh, they actually have somewhere to go and they can practice martial arts and the parents are happy, right? It's like, yes, let my kid 
at least do something constructive, right? And, and then you can make new rev, uh, revenue that you wouldn't be able to, to uh, have generated before. Uh, dedicated classes. So uh, our customers call them 2020 Tuesdays or 2020 Thursdays. We have a dedicated class that uses te the technology and you charge an extra 30, 40, 50 dollars a month uh, for that service because you are providing a specialized service with uh, specialized technology and uh, the parents and the students recognize that and recognize that value and, and are willing to, to pay for that. We're so confident about the, the return on investment that uh, our product brings to you that we actually dedicated a, a page on our website that walks you through those, through those numbers. So if you go to 2020armor.com slash ROI, we show you exactly how we provide that 10x return or 10 times return. So you just enter how many members you have, what your monthly fee is, and we spit out the numbers for you. And you can tweak the numbers to, to your liking. Uh, we made some very uh, basic assumptions uh, and if you'd like to adjust those, you can in, in fine detail here. But uh, you can see uh, with a five thousand investment, five thousand dollar investment, you can make uh, about fifty thousand dollars within the first year. And um, if you've seen some of the earlier presentations that I did on attract, attain, and thrive, you can see how how that's possible. In summary, uh, I gave a presentation here on how to attract new students with. Uh, with new concepts like that uh, frame martial arts in, in the context of, of video games. And we like to use the, the tagline, turn those lineups into signups. And then I went over how to retain your current existing students. We know how expensive it is to, uh, to get a new student and it's way more cost effective to keep who we have. And we use this concept of enjoying the, the process or enjoying the fight to describe that. And then lastly, I talked about how to thrive and grow your business with new revenue stream opportunities such as creating gaming stations and having dedicated classes and uh, making your in-house events or tournaments much more efficient with, uh, with less staff. And then lastly, I, sh I showed those hard, uh, hard numbers uh, and how they actually all play out on, on our ROI page or return on investment page on 2020armor.com slash ROI. So that's all I wanted to leave, leave you guys with today. Our website, 2020armor.com, uh, has so many resources, uh, and, we, and we put it on 2020armor.com slash resources. Uh, we walk you through how to use the vest, how to, how to play all the games, and then we, we give you step-by-step -step blueprints on how to do all these strategies that I talked about. Uh, we also have case studies. We have real club owners just like you that share their stories and how they were successful with the product. And lastly, we have top class support. So uh, my co-founder, William, is the head of the client success department. Uh, he will personally uh, deal with any sort of challenges uh, or issues that you guys might have or questions. And that is something that uh, we take uh, very personally and have a lot of pride in to make sure that you guys are taken care of. Thank you very much for your time. Again, my name is Master Ali Gafour.